Hey, you wonderful people of YouTube. I had a question. What would I recommend for a roadmap learning to code in 2023 if you wanted to become a front-end web developer? So this is a subjective question. There's many, many paths, but some of you have been asking me, please outline courses you would take on Udemy as a bare minimum. So in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the bare minimum you should learn if you want to become a front-end developer in 2023. And if you have any other suggestions, help the community out, let them know, let them be known in the comments below. So with that being said, let's get to it. First things first, I made this for myself when I was learning to code. The most important thing is making sure that you're not meandering all over the place and you have a structured curriculum. So this is the path that I followed and I updated it today. This used to be different, but I updated it today with what I think you should learn in 2023 to become a front-end web developer. But I made this for myself to have a guided path or a curriculum that I could follow instead of being stuck in tutorial hell. These are the only resources you are going to commit yourself to use. And until you finish this roadmap, you're not going to take any other resource. You're going to build your portfolios and you're going to start applying. But with that being said, I've decided that I want to become a React developer. And in my opinion, this is what I need to learn. HTML, JavaScript, React, consuming an API or working with Ajax, database, TypeScript, of course, you need to know GitHub. And what am I missing here? And I'm missing Next.js. So let me add it on the fly here that I know I already added in the roadmap, but I'm going to put it here as well. And the way and the madness or the process to my madness, the way you would follow this is you would take a resource and I made these links that you could click on and I'll share this in my community tab that you could find if you're subscribed to my channel and you will be able to find the links that I use, but you don't even have to use the courses I recommend. You could use this roadmap as a guideline to help you build your own curriculum. And the way you follow courses, I talked to length about this on my channel, but you want to make sure that when you get one resource, you complete that resource fully built all the projects that the instructor has you do. And before moving on to the next resources, build a second project or your own project from scratch based on what you learned. That way, after you complete a course, you're going to have all the projects you built with the instructor, but you're also gonna have your own project that you built that you could add to GitHub and hence put on your portfolio. And the path that I recommend, and we'll go this one by one, but I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, preface, is you wanna know HTML and CSS, you wanna learn JavaScript, you wanna learn and become comfortable using GitHub, you obviously wanna learn React because it's the best framework to learn if you wanna be hireable, you wanna learn how to consume APIs or mostly how to work with asynchronous JavaScript, you're gonna talk about that. You should be familiar with databases. If you're looking to get hired, the most important is SQL type database, not MongoDB as many instructors teach. So I recommend taking one course and learning PostgreSQL, then making sure that you're learning TypeScript and Next.js. And that will conclude the bare minimum that you need to know. And we're going to walk through all of these again together, and I'm going to show you the courses I recommend. So for HTML and CSS, I recommend taking this HTML and CSS tutorial project course by John Smigla. It is amazing. What I like about John Smigla courses is that he has so many practice projects for you to do. This is a massive course. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of hours, over 40 hours of building stuff, all the things that you would cover. And again, whenever you buy courses, make sure you never pay the full price and you wait for the discount. But this covers everything you need to know to know enough with HTML and CSS to start building projects. So next on our roadmap is learning JavaScript. And you're probably not going to be surprised for my first initial three courses, the person I'm going to recommend as an instructor is John Smigler because he makes amazing courses. So the next one is JavaScript tutorial project course by John Smigler. Again, so many, so many amazing lessons. And the reason why I recommend his courses over anybody else is because he has so many practice projects for you to build in the course. And so by the time you're done with the course, you're going to feel comfortable knowing JavaScript. 
Afterwards, what do you need to know? Well, we're gonna take a step back. You build two projects, now let's learn how to use GitHub from merging into branches, from creating new branches. What is the proper workflow when working with GitHub? So the next course I recommend, which is an amazing course, is doing the GitHub Bootcamp course by Cold Steel. This is a really amazing course. I highly recommend you take it. Once you finish this course, you're going to be so comfortable of being a GitHub master, something that is absolutely necessary if you're going to be working. After GitHub, you're gonna to jump to React. If you want to find a job, the fastest path to it is learning React. So the course that I recommend for React is John Smilgler course, Smilgas course. And the reason I recommend his course again, because he has so many uh, projects for you to do. And this is a massive 69 hour course. You're going to learn everything you need. And a lot of times people like, Hey, how did you meet John Smilga? Well, I actually took his react course and I took this one before the update. I think it was like the 2020 course that he had. And I completed like his e-commerce project and everything else that he had. He has a lot of new content here. And that's actually something that helped me land my first job as a React developer. So John Smilga has a really close part in my heart because his tutorial is the one that helped me learn enough about React to actually be able to pass an interview and get hired. Once you know React, you need to learn about consuming APIs or working with asynchronous code in JavaScript, making a request, and being comfortable doing it. And this is exactly what you're going to do as a front-end developer is making API calls to the back-end synchronously. So you want to be really, really comfortable and understand how to work with a synchronous JavaScript. And the best course that I recommend for that, that I really love is by Clyde Matthew, one of the another amazing instructors on Udemy. And this Ajax Fundamentals, simply put, is an amazing course. He also has part two for this. It's up to you if you want to get it. I would probably get it as well if you wanted to do it. Um, but this is what I recommend to really understand how to work with a synchronous JavaScript. So next, what do you need to do? Well, after learning those technologies, I can't implore you enough to understand that when working with backend, you should have a basic or some understanding of working with database. I know a lot of instructors talk about Mongo, but I already, I'm on my fourth development job. And in any of the four jobs that I had, we've never used Firebase, we've never used MongoDB, we always use Postgres. So if you were to pick one database to learn and be comfortable, stick with uh, SQL, type of database and Postgres is a great place. So check out that course that I recommend and that's going to be a course by John Avis, a really good course. Again, do you have to purchase any of these courses I recommend? No, you don't, but I'm just telling you, here's some of the courses that I took that I really enjoyed and you could give them a try, but you could use the roadmap that I provided as a guideline and choose your own courses. And the last thing that I want to say is that if you're looking to continue and have an easier way of getting hired, you cannot omit TypeScript any longer. TypeScript is super important. We all now have to know TypeScript. And so I recommend taking a TypeScript course by Maximilian. Phenomenal course, amazing course. You could either get it here on Udemy or you could check out all his other courses on Academy and Pro that he has. It's up to you. Really, it's the same course though. And it's really awesome. And you definitely need to know TypeScript. And the last course that I recommend or thing that you need to know to make yourself stand out as a front-end developer is learning a full, full stack framework in React. I personally love Remix, but put my personal feelings aside. If you're looking to get hired and you're looking to get a job, you can't go wrong with Next.js. So learn Next.js. And again, the best course that I took for Next.js is by Maximilian. It's again, a massive course, really, really awesome. Check it out. And that's what I would recommend. So if you're looking to get started in web development and you're having a hard time, I'm going to share this roadmap in the community post. I'm gonna make a post so you could uh, save it and bulk market and use it. Again, you have to use the courses that I 
provide it here? No, you do not. I just wanted to give you a roadmap because the most important thing you could do is have a structured curriculum instead of meandering. So again, quick review, learn HTML, CSS, learn JavaScript, become comfortable with GitHub, learn React, learn how to work with a synchronous JavaScript, learn how to be comfortable with a Postgres database. You don't need to be a master, but just understand how it works. Must learn TypeScript and learn Next.js. I hope this video was helpful for you. There's many ways of and paths to take, but I want to share the one that I think is the best and the fastest way for you to get there. And although I say fastest, it's still gonna take you some time to learn and get good at those technologies. So the goal is not to try to learn things as quickly as possible, but make sure you take your time and have deliberate studying to make sure that you get good at what you're doing. As you saw my roadmap, the way that I suggest you learn courses is first, Complete the course fully before moving on. And before moving on, this is the key part that will make or break if you're actually going to learn the skills required is don't move to the second course, but based on what you learned from the course you just finished, build your own portfolio project from scratch. By the end of following this roadmap, you're going to have three to four amazing projects to put into your portfolio that you could now start going and applying for jobs and focusing on interview prep. The biggest mistake many folks make is trying to take too many courses and they get stuck in perpetual tutorial hell and never get to where they want to go. So I want to make this video for you to have a path that will allow you to get the job and be ready. This is the path that I followed, not exact same courses because I wanted to update it for 2023, but the roadmap and being uh, having structured path is super important. So smash the like button if you didn't. And if you hated the video, of course, whatever, smash the hate button, I don't care. But most importantly, thank you for watching and you, will, you could find the roadmap link in the community section of my channel. So thanks a lot and I'll see you all later. Take care.